Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to the channel guys. This is our weekly message from your person. Y'all know it's not an in-depth tarot reading. I'm not going to pull out the tarot cards going in depth on anything. But I will get us started with the oracle cards. Help us to understand what the person is focused in on when it comes to you and your connection. Let's jump in and let's see whose energy is coming in the strongest for my Sagittarius. Y'all know all my readings are meant to bring you confirmations of the things you already intuitively and instinctively know about your person. If it doesn't happen with this reading, you can check out your other sign positions. I also do the extra wild card reading. You can check that one out and see if I pick up the energy there. So my Sag, let's see what's going on. What is your person focused in on when it comes to you, your connection, what's going on? So my Sag. You pop, we got a runner. I'm not ready to accept what you have to offer. Uh oh, we got somebody scared and running. Let's see if there's anything else in this deck that they wanted. Ooh, it's on the bottom, guys. Unrequited. Mm. Leaving you was the most painful thing I've done. Ooh, unrequited. Leaving you running. Running out. Oh. Let's see what it, uh, wisdom of the house and night will bring you out. Because that's a little bit confusing. Just the fact that the word unrequited come up. Because um, it's not so much that their feelings for you <laughs> is not unrequited. Uh -uh, they're scared of what they're feeling. But, they, but it's still popping for me. So they may feel like... Ooh. We got one on top. They may feel like the unrequited is going to be you. Your feelings towards them. Uh, so, yeah. Hopefully that makes some sense. They're running from their feelings for you. Getting scared, but dang. They're worried that you don't have the same kind of feelings they have. Letting go in number 22. Oh, gosh. Guys, with that one, that is about transformation. It's a master number 22. <clears throat> wow okay and we don't normally reduce master numbers but for some reason i'm being told to reduce it down to the fourth house energy and that the fourth house energy brings in early lifehood traditions foundations that in beliefs you come up you know you brought you know been brought up with that you bring forward into your adult life with so this person is running off some scared beliefs about something that's causing them to run from the feelings they have for you and anticipate that um, you don't actually have the same kind of feelings towards them. They are definitely learning a master lesson here. See all the butterflies of letting go. It's allowing something to transform, allowing yourself. And then coming with that, we got a number 15 fragmented. This person's all over the place. They feel like a ghost of their self. And they've probably never felt completely whole. Uh, when we do the fragmented, that when that card comes out, it's an indication that we just keep pulling ourselves apart, trying to live up to everyone else, what everyone else needs from us or expects from us. Till we've lost ourselves. We're like a bunch of puzzle pieces scattered everywhere. When it comes to knowing ourselves, ooh, okay, <laughs> yes, I wasn't expecting all of that, Sag, but just know your person is going through a, um, a time of enlightenment, but at the same time, it's really hard on them, <laughs> on an emotion, and it's going to make it hard on anyone else that they're having feelings towards these kinds of feelings because they're going to run from it. Let's get on talking, guys. Let's see what deck they would like to start talking with. Oh, my goodness. That was quick. They know what they want to talk with. <laughs> we got Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine speak. It's the mirroring dialogue. But we are getting the passive, the feminine side of the deck. That's not gender, guys. That's the energy. It's a passive energy where somebody is uh, thinking more towards us. Think thinking 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 i'd like to do this or i'd like to do that but they're not taking action towards it towards it uh doing what they're thinking about it's passive let's get this shuffled up better there we go it's for my sagittarius their person talk to us and i'm picking up this nerve because guys for some reason i'm like black 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 
I don't mean to be, but there's nervous energy on your person that is making them chatty. I don't know how to put it, chatty. A lot of big changes have happened. I'm trying to figure things out. Yeah, I'm running from it while I'm trying to figure it out. I'm not sure I deserve the way you love me. I'm not sure how to best approach you. I'm thinking about it. I'm doing a lot of thinking. I want to return to you. I do. I just want things to be different with us when I do. I'm trying to forget you. It's not working. No, it's not. I know who you are to me. I recognized and acknowledged acknowledge the connection i just can't do this right now i feel so damaged and jaded i didn't want to let you go i just didn't know where to go with this keep talking to us oh, there's more I learned so much from you, even if you don't know that. Thank you. Oh. Keep talking. Anything else? Yeah, we're getting more. Please have patience. It may not seem so, but I'm getting it slowly, but I am slowly. I do miss you. I can't be with you right now, but I will be back for you. I will. I pushed you away because I knew I was going to inevitably disappoint or hurt you. Yes, anticipating it. Self-fulfilling prophecy sometimes, guys. I dream of you. I'm sorry I was mean to you. It's a defense mechanism. You made me feel something. This was confusing. Very confusing for them. Hold the energy on the deck. Let's see. The next deck they want to talk with. Let's keep on talking. Keep on talking here. Ooh, getting the shadow side of the blue butterflies. Shadow side. They're talking shadows to us, guys. Okay, y'all know shadow messages are just fear-based. Ego kind of messages, just fearful stuff. Good. Sometimes you make me really mad. Give me another chance to show you how much I love you. It's almost like a question. It's almost like they're asking you if you would. I'm taking responsibility for my mistakes. I wish I could be honest with you. I feel your tears. I feel so jealous over you. I want to make this right. Are you talking anything else? There's more. I'll do whatever it takes to make this work. I don't feel like you really see me. Please listen. I want a new beginning. I watch you from a distance. I screwed up. Do a last shuffle, anything, there's more. Yes, they going to talk with it. I feel so intimidated. I need to do what is right for me. There's some, something, some kind of energy because that, that's pinging, pinging way too hard on, on me. It's like somebody tapping me on the back of the head going, mm, mm. There's something shadow negative about that statement. It's like they're, hold on, let's see if I can get it straight. Bring it to me again. 
It's like that's all they were focused on. That's all they've been focused on. Running scared. Hearing running scared because thinking, I got to do what's right for me. I got to do what's right for me. And not, not seeing truly what was right for them. Which would to be to open up and see what they were doing to you. The effect they were having on you. They're seeing it as other people in their life too. Not taking other people's responsibility for the energy they were showing up with or running with. Yeah, I know I was wrong. Mm -hmm. You meant more to me than I let on. It's afraid to show it. And staying away from you is driving me insane. Insane. I'm still trying to figure out who I am. Yeah, I'm getting clear about me, myself, what I'm doing, how it affects the people that I love. Ooh, running scared. Hold the energy on the deck. Guys, let's go ahead. Let's get them to focus their energy into a deck or onto a deck that they want to give you a final and closing message from this week. Talk to us. Talk to Ooh, guys. Okay. Yeah. We're going to get a twin flame mirroring dialogue. This is for my Sagittarius. This person. Let's talk. No, oh, hold on. It don't feel right. Let me get it shuffled up a little bit better. Let's try this one one more time. Ooh, felt better. That felt better. Okay. Talk to us. Oh, pop. They pop in now. I think about you every night. I recognize you the moment our eyes met Ooh, something triggered they knew they knew it has got scared i feel trapped and stuck in my situation i can hear you even in the silence i know you are my person i know you're the one that scared me you are like no other. I'm hiding my true feelings from you. I feel I feel like I'm losing you. I feel like I've I'm I have already lost you. Yeah. I feel like I have lost you permanently. I'm sorry for the way I acted. I will return to claim you, <laughs> if you'll let me. I mean, that was an intimidating statement, guys. If you will let me. They were trying to be bold, but it was intimidating. I haven't forgotten you. Yes. Last one. Oh, I ran away from myself, not you. Oh, sad. Darn. I ran away from myself. Not you. Whew. Sagittarius, guys, that's all I have for us. I'm sending you love and light. Many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I see you again next time. Bless be.